Hey guys, welcome to Tactical Expedition and today I'll be reviewing my watches. Now, I don't have too many watch watches and I because I don't collect you know I don't have watch collection or anything like that but over the years I just buy cheap watch or expensive watch here and there and I, I have collected them I guess you know but I'm not into collecting watches and you know I, I don't like watches too much but I'll be reviewing them so first watch I ever got was this Seiko watch in uh, 2003 and only thing I've done on this watch is changing the battery and it tells you that the date it's a Seiko water resistance you know it's a decent clasp with a lot of scratches so that's that this never broke down <laughs> this is the most dependable watch and this is a, I believe it's a Japanese company that makes this watch and the second watch I got was this Rolex GMT Masters 2 watch. This retails about $9,000 to $10,000. And this is the most expensive watch I own. It has nice weight to it. It's very clear. And uh, I polished it once. And so it's a little bit um, shiny now. So the Rolex, when you close it all the way, the, the, the crown should line up perfectly. And also this green line, this uh, needle, is uh, pointing to another time zone. So right now over there is 6 uh, 42 a.m. in that country. And it tells you the date. And this is my favorite watch because it's most expensive. The another expensive watch is this is Rolex Daytona. This one, it's a similar weight to this, um, but it's a lot older, so it has a lot more scratches. Um, it has the the stop time. functions I don't know why this is more expensive but I like that better this is the Invicta watch so as you can see it's missing a needle in the middle one Invicta I just like the look at the time it's a leather watch that I own and the funny thing is the the controls or the knobs or the buttons are on the other side so they say this is a diver's watch but I just bought it for the looks this retailed for about two hundred dollars cheaper watch next before um, Apple watch came out this this syncs to my iPhone this is a smartphone or smart watch from code Kojito. This was about two hundred dollars. So when I turn it on, there's a display in the back. Let me see. I should turn it on. I guess ran out of battery, but it has two batteries for two different functions. So that's the watch. It's a rubberized. It's okay. I mean, at the time, I really thought this was innovative because it's a smart watch but now I don't wear them these are two same watches from Timex it's called Timex Expedition I think it retails for about forty dollars but I had a coupon so I bought it for like ten bucks each this is super light you can replace the bands I mean it's all replaceable and in the dark I don't know if you can see it but 
it, it has uh, indiglo function so you can really e easily tell the time and it comes with dates too those are two models one is green and one is black this green one um, the date is easier to see because this is a white lettering and that's a dark gray lettering so I really like this but again it's cheap watch okay and I'll go to my wife's watch so this is the uh, female version of Rolex watch that has a diamond in it it's date just that's the model this was about ten thousand to eleven thousand dollars so she gave me this <laughs> and I gave her this so instead of a wedding ring I wear that this is Cartier um, 18 karat with the alligator a crocodile uh, leather strap so this is all gold 18 karat this is 18 karat too all of them and this is about I don't know 30,000 20 to 30,000 dollars pretty ridiculous but anyways so that's the watch collection so slowly I'm changing from luxury to tactical <laughs> so like I show you other videos I have BMW 750 but I want to switch over to uh, Forerunner TRD Pros I mean I know those are expensive too but I'm slowly going towards the tactical side um, tell me what you think this is not a, a fancy uh, watch collection compared to other people but I just wanted to show you and want to want to put my watch on the YouTube uh, until time ends so you know YouTube will be there forever um, way after I die so my collection will be on the web um, thank you for coming to my channel please subscribe I mean I love my subscribers I have 19 of them right now <laughs> and uh, I like the likes I like the views thank you for uh, viewing my video again and I'll be back thank you